I'd only say that I command this ship by virtue of the fact that I'm the better man. A fact which I am cheerfully willing to demonstrate to you at your pleasure. Well, Exford, you'll take the boat that I'd assigned to Mr. Simpson. I'll take the landing party ashore myself. That is all, gentlemen. is to be entered in the log. Yes, sir. And, Captain, if you please, might I volunteer? And... No volunteering for you, mister. I'm afraid you're not cut out for the kind of little party I'm going to give tonight. and you'll be all right. If you move, it'll be at your own risk. Lowry, Thomas, stand guard. Wooly, give the signal. Now work on the guns.
King George's men raided our American shores. Tonight we've returned those visits. But no harm or person will be harmed if you make no move to stop us. Open up, we're passing through. Best to let them be gone. Why should we let them through? There wasn't no fire. blood on our streets. It's like Get away, you say. Get away! <laughs> here at Lloyd's cannot and will not accept the risk. Our coasts are even now being menaced, and an increase in rates, I tell you, sirs, is warranted. This war, which violates our own British constitution, yeah. now threatens to explode in our faces. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, the Americans have suffered greatly. But their sufferings are supported with temper and courage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are in the cause of public virtue. The war on their side is founded in the primary ideas of self-defense and justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I beg leave to emphasize the words of my honorable colleague, Mr. Burke. First, the people of the colonies are descendants of Englishmen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are therefore not only devoted to liberty, but to liberty according to English ideas Here. and on English principles. For the first time since several centuries, Angleterre has been invaded. But this is not the first time that the Écosse fights for a cause that is so dear. Let me tell you que dans la longue histoire de la guerre maritime, il y a rarement eu un exploit aussi audacieux que celui de ce courageux capitaine. Mes amis, levons nos verres à la santé de John Paul Jones. You are American, yes? Indeed. And you did not leave your glasses to the gallant captain? Teetotalers, ma'am. Teetotalers. Outrageous. Nothing but an adventurer. And a dangerous one at that. Flaunting our flag at his own will and fancy. To listen to our French friends, you'd think the Whitehaven landing, in reality a very minor expedition, has changed history. Many an Englishman thinks so, too. Gentlemen, I have called together the meeting of this commission because the captain has a petition he wishes to present. Most kind of the captain to take time from his celebrations. So you well know that my purpose, and one purpose only in coming to Paris, is to beg from you gentlemen money. Money for my ship and my crew. The men are half starved, they've not been paid. The ship is desperately in need of repair. This commission has no funds for the purpose, Captain, as I've repeatedly reminded Dr. Franklin. The whole venture was undertaken without our authority. God gave us the authority to declare our independence. Will you take the authority to starve the men who fight for it, Mr. Lee? I prefer to confront facts, Doctor. A sworn report from his first lieutenant stating Captain Jones cannot handle his men. What do you say, John? I'll ask Mr. Simpson to explain his lies to a court-martial. You show poor judgment, Captain. Lieutenant Simpson is related to the finest families in New England. I don't care if he's related to you or the devil, Mr. Adams. I still command the Ranger. But you have not yet heard. Congress has ordered the Ranger home. Upon our recommendation, the Ranger's mission here is done. 
done. It's not begun. We must follow Whitehaven with another landing and another or lose everything we've gained. Leave such decisions to our French allies. Your ship returns to America. It's true we cannot hold the Ranger. But if you choose to remain here without a ship, we couldn't prevent it. Could we? Not if Jones freed Simpson to command the Ranger home. I'll withdraw charges against Simpson. If you'll pay the Ranger's crew. You'll give up your ship? Under the circumstances, yes. The crew will be paid. But you may have a long wait for another command, Captain. Good day, sir. Good day, gentlemen. He that commands patience can have what he will. Stay here, John. I have a plan. Who taught you? Dr. Franklin. Amy, where did you meet the good doctor? A court. The king himself asked him to instruct me in, uh, oh, so many things. Science, philosophy. We became close friends. I dreaded when he would go back to your America. I love him dearly. For me, he's almost like a father. You never mentioned your family. Where is your father? I... I had no father. I mean... My mother did not share his name. Are you shocked? My true name isn't Jones, either. Four hours with Desert Team. Minister of Marine. He refused to forward your letter to the king. And turned down my plan to land French troops under Lafayette. Lafayette has been ordered to the border of Spain. And the French Royal Navy can spare no ships to sail under the American flag. So I'm to remain landlocked in Paris. Unless you will accept a French commission. Well, I'm a captain in the Continental Navy of the United States. Ah, but temporarily unemployed, my friend. If the Minister Marine refuses to forward your letters to the King, I cannot pass them over his head. We'll try again, of course, but... I've tried to build a new naval power. Something above politics and privateers. Must it end now, Dr. Franklin? No man can answer that for you, John. <laughs> <laughs> 